getting ready to go to the Palencia <laughs> Tobacco Factory. Yeah. All right. Yay! 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 We're here for cigars. Yeah, Who's way back here in the back? All right. <laughs> This is round two, they got it perfected. So how long have you been in the nude house? Less than a year? A year now. A year? Okay. Mm -hmm. How we get the tobacco? We get the tobacco from uh, other countries, from other regions. So we have we have the tobacco like this. But what happened after this is we open up the bills, we see the tobacco to make sure that the tobacco is 100% cured or fermented. If not, depending on you know how good it is, we can use it. Otherwise. We take the tobacco to that place to give a little bit of moisturizer with, uh, with water. We go like this and we give like, a little bit of water, like we're doing now. Yeah. Why? <clears throat> we want to continue the process in the pylons. So that happens only with water and heat. And then we go and we put the tobacco back into the pylon. You can still smell the ammonia yeah. coming out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. This is when she locks us in. <laughs> <laughs> so after the pylon, we we'll bring the tobacco here to dry it out and put it back in the beer. Okay, who likes the Maduro? Hey. Okay, let me explain you how we get that perfect color, perfect dark in the Maduro. Most of the people, um, they use caramel or they broil, literally, they broil, they broil the, uh, the leaves in water. Right. We do it in the natural process, steam process. What we do is we put beans in the bottom, then we put water, then we put uh, the leaves, then one more uh, uh, layer. Uh -huh. Beans, yeah. And then we cover it up and then we give heat. Like yeah. the one you see there? Yes, very hot, yes. But it is not in the water, you know, it's just right. a steam right. process. Just in right. the air. Right, right. Yeah. So that's how we get the perfect, you know, dark brown oh. okay. cool. color. I rejected it only by the touch. I knew it was bad. Okay. If it is more than 45, they're tight. They're tight. Yeah. Okay. So 
You can try. Uh, yeah. It's not right. Okay. But here is the the most important, you know, um, area. Why? Because they're in charge of telling me they're good, they're not good. They inspect every single cigar by the touch, but you know, looking at, but they go like this. They use some some tools. Enseñame el seco. Ring gauge. You have to check the ring gauge. Okay. They have to be perfect. If they're too loose, it means that they're on their field or they're wrong. If they're too tight, they're, they can be plugged because too much material. Okay, so they do all this. They also check what we call the boquilla. If they're too tight, it can be, you know, plugged. So they, they need to be very careful when they do this. After they decide that the cigars are good, they put all, you know, you see all the papers here? All this tray has a code here. They have code, so they know what it is in each one. So after here, they go to the edge room. The box press cigars has a different process. When they make the cigars in production floor, they have to be not in the same range that we use for the brown cigars. They have to be a little bit soft because then they need to get this shape. Okay, what we do, we put the cigars like this. Then we put it in the press for 24 hours. Then we turn it around and then 24 hours more to give the square shape, okay? After 48 hours, the cigars go into the, that tray to keep it square. And they go to the edge of it. Hola. come to this room, this is the aging room, and they're, they're going to spend here uh, 8 to 12 weeks before they come to package the department. Okay? So you can come in and smell. And oh, heavenly in there. I can sleep here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very nice.
Stay interesting, my friends.